so here guys today we are going to discuss about some use cases regarding date time fields okay here we have actually issue happened field which is actually date time type which is actually only date type i will i believe there is no time stamp here which is only date type so issue happened means that has already happened that should be only in the past should not accept future dates but here you are able to select future dates as well right 2023 january also you are able to select right so here whenever you are selecting the date it should only accept past dates past dates means so before today before today that means today is 24th right december 23rd 22nd so before that before that it has to accept after today it should not accept that means it should not accept future dates that is what our first requirement okay <clears throat> so here as we are making the field change as we are making the field value change on change client script will run okay on change client script will run i am going to create on change client script right click configure client scripts so i am going to create a new client script here issue happen date validation issue happened date validation so this should be on change whenever you are changing the date you need to check whether that is actually future date or past date so that is why you are selecting on change here on which particular field issue happened field okay fine so here can we use glide date time glide schedule glide duration here in this client script uh, no i think no no glide glide date time glide duration glide schedule these all are server side apis we cannot use it in client side that is what i have told you right so those apis you cannot actually use here then why do you what do you do then we have our favorite glide ajax will come into picture glide ajax is our favorite right obviously so i am going to take this glide ajax okay so the script include we had created already the script include we had created you all guys remember right so script include is actually a server side script script include is actually a server side scripting area which you will be calling in the client side by checking client callable checkbox so here you are going to create a function here in the script include what is that function name so issue happen validation okay so this is the function that you called here inside this function so you are going to call the, you are going to call this function within the script include you are going to call this function so here you have to pass issue happened so that field name you have to take
So this param you will be passing to the scripting include. Where? Issue happened is equal to this dot. Okay. So you have actually got the date to the script include. So here you can do some server side scripting, right? Here you can write glide date time, glide schedule, glide duration, right? So <clears throat> now what I do is I will actually where should happen new is equal to new glide date time. So inside this, I'm actually passing this date. Okay. So this is only glide date, right? Not time, right? You can just take date, date as well, glide date. Even if you take glide date time also, no, no worries. So you are going to take where today is equal to today. So you will get today's date using new glide date time. Hmm? So you will get the difference between today's date and the uh, selected date you will get the difference between today's date and selected date how do you get the difference gs dot date diff remember this function date diff here inside this one you will actually pass today's date comma So if you want a response in, if you want response in um, seconds, then you will use true here. Okay. If difference, whatever the difference that we get here, if the difference less than zero, less than zero, less than zero means which are negative. If you get the response in the negative, negative means past dates. Okay. Difference greater than zero. Difference greater than zero. Oh, okay, I have defined greater than zero now. If difference less than zero, if difference less than zero, that is actually means it is actually in the past. If it is greater than zero, it is in the future. So now in the written statement, whatever you keep in the written statement, that will be passed. Here I am actually keeping as past else written future so less than zero means past greater than zero means future so what I'm doing here, uh, whatever the selected date that you have got, that you have taken here, here, today's date you have taken here, you are getting the difference between these two days in the seconds. If it is less than zero, that is actually in the past. If it is greater than zero, that is actually in the future. So now I am going to save this one. Here, you are getting the answer here, right? If answer equal to equal to
past. Answer not equal to past. Hmm? So what you will do? Not equal to past means you can clear the value. G underscore form dot clear value. We can give an alert. Okay. So I have created an unchanged client script on the issue happened field. So here, what I'm doing is I'm calling the script include inside the script include I'm calling this function inside the function. I'm actually passing the selected date using this parameter. This parameter I'm actually calling here using this dot get parameter. And I'm getting the date difference between these two dates. And uh, if the date difference is actually less than zero, I'm considering that as past. If it is greater than zero, I'm considering that in as future. <clears throat> okay so now after getting the response so when you make the get xml wait it will actually get the response so once you get the response so the response that, that you have got is, is 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 not actually passed so we have to clear the value we should show an alert so now let me just refresh this one Okay, let me just refresh one more time because the client should the, the, the client script should get affected. Okay, now I am going to select issue happened date in the past. It is accepting, which is fine. I am trying to select in the future. So what is it telling? Issue happened date should always be in past. So this validation you have done here. <clears throat> okay. So you, you are clear, right? How exactly we will actually allow them to select only past dates. Okay. Suppose if you want to allow them only future dates, So what you will do, you will go to the client script here. Not equal to future. Hmm? Should always be in future. Here also, we may have to make some changes. I think uh, less than zero means past always. Greater than zero means future. So actually, I have to make changes here, right? Uh, if answer equals to equals to past. See, if answer not equal to future, are equal to equal to past both are same okay 
you understand the moment you say answer not equals to push it means it will accept past date right equal to equal to past so here let me just refresh this one okay let me just select the previous days it is working fine if you select the future dates so it should select it should allow you to select okay so this is actually our first requirement so hope everybody is able to understand so how to identify the future dates how to allow only future dates how to allow only past dates 